the previous two examples have illustrated the result that the expected value of a sum is the sum of the expected value. This is a second result concerning expected values of multivariate distributions. If x1 up to xn are mutually independent random variables, this time there is an assumption that they are mutually independent random variables, but they still could be discrete or continuous then the expected value of the product of the functions g sub i of x sub i is equal to the product of the expected values. So here the expected value of the product is the product of the expected values for any functions g1 to gn. Two important special cases. The first one is when these g sub i of x sub i functions are just x sub i, then the expected value of the product of n random variables is the expected value, I'm, for, I'm sorry, is the product of their expected values, again, assuming that they're mutually independent random variables. The second important special case concerns moment generating functions. Let's say that these functions g sub i of x sub i happen to be e to the t times x sub i power. Well, when that's the case, you can write the theorem above in the following fashion. And this particular expression can be written as e to the t x1 plus x2 plus xn because you have like base and you add exponents. Well, this expression on the left is the moment generating function of the sum, also known as a convolution, of x1 up to xn and so that's on the left. On the right this is the product of the marginal moment generating functions. This particular result will be used quite a bit in section 7.3 at the end of the next chapter. So again, two special cases. The expected value of the product is the product of the expected value, assuming you have mutually independent random variables. And for moment generating functions, the moment generating function of a convolution is the product of the marginal moment generating functions.